Welcome to the Keg and Crow. Today we're talking about 3D files for the Ninth Age, Warhammer, Age of Sigmar, Kings of War, D&D, whatever fantasy games you might be playing. Today's episode is concerning Lizardmen or the Saurian Ancients. These incredible sculpts are done by Archvillain Games. For a mere 10 American dollars, you get access to all of these 3D files. I'll link their Facebook and their Patreon below. The first model we have on display is the Fearsome Stagodon. As you can see, the detail on this is unbelievable. The texture of the scales, the expression on the face of the Stagodon and the skinks is so realistic. The design on all the shields and jewelry is amazing. A lot of time and effort went into creating this magnificent beast. Next, we have a few different poses of a Saurus veteran with a hand weapon and shield. Everything about this guy is awesome. It is in fact what inspired me to make this video. I especially love the T-Rex head design that they decided to go with. This miniature speaks for itself. Now we have a few different poses of a Slan Mage Priest, not on a palanquin. As always, these sculpts are incredibly detailed. So much is going into the clothes, it really allows you to easily imagine what it could look like painted and gives you a lot of options. Now we have another Slan. This one is on a palanquin. This guy has two versions, one with his tongue sticking out and one without. Something I love about these guys is the amount of personality you can see in each sculpt. The toad isn't sitting there idly, he's snacking on an insect the size of a cat. A much more important task than the battle that is likely in front of him. And now we have some of the best chameleon skinks I've ever seen. These guys are made even better by the bases they've been sculpted on. Really shows how sneaky they are and how deadly they can be when ignored. No one else has made skinks quite like these. Next, we have a lizard that can have multiple uses, such as a Carnosaur. Amazing sculpt, as everything else is. You could even shrink this down and possibly use it as a salamander. Now, we have the same model with a rider. I think this is a skink rider, so it's likely a Tarasaur or a Troglodon, but really, you can use it for whatever you want. This is an alternate Tarasaur or Troglodon being ridden by a skink again. This one is riding side saddle. And there's a few different guys here that you could use, such as a Caster Skink or a Chieftain Skink. All of the available poses are stunning and so lifelike. It's really hard to compete with the amount of detail that Archvillain Games puts into their miniatures. And now some other breathtaking sculpts. Skinks strike from the skies from these terrifying mounts. Pterodons, Ripperdactyls, or Ramphodon Riders. Once again, we have several poses of just menacing monsters. The stuff of Jurassic Park fueled nightmares. Your dice cannot fail you with such fearsome beasts fighting for you. And now, some skink chieftains wielding great weapons, hand weapon and shield, and... Oh my. She is beauty. She is grace. She will eat your face. I know some people weren't happy about these skinks getting a gender, but I don't really think it's a big deal with how amazing these skinks look. Who cares? It'll be really easy to tell which model is a character, which is the most important thing on the battlefield. And that's all of them. These files are for their Patreon of August 2021, and there's not a bad sculpt among them. If you follow 3D printing for fantasy miniatures, you've almost certainly heard of these guys. Archvillain Games is some of the best 3D sculpts available on the market, as you've surely seen. If you have a 3D printer, and you like cold-blooded monsters, then consider subscribing to their Patreon. Follow them on Facebook so you know what they're releasing every month for their low, low price of only $10. This is a Kagan Crow signing off because YouTube doesn't pay my bills.